During the last 15 months, many of us have spent a lot of times inside our homes. And one of the silver linings of the pandemic is that many of us have had more time for creativity. If you love to create, to imagine and to produce things, our next guest is gonna be very interesting to you. He is an author, he has written over 80 books and he is a creative bomb. Absolutely, and here to drop that bomb on you is Derek Spears. He's joining us now. <laughs> yeah. from, is, is that is that Derek Books? Are you in your own bookstore? Yeah, I'm in my bookstore right now. This is my create creative lab. Oh, also, man. you know, so <laughs> I love that, man. Thank you for having me. It. It's great to have you. All right, let's talk because I think some people they get into these uh, creative ruts, or maybe they just they feel like their creative growth is stunted. Why is that? What what are ways that we can we can stunt our own creativity. Well, I think we, I think people create stunt their creativity when they give themselves boundaries. You know, they, they, they don't realize the world around them. It's like a creative world has no boundaries. So they have to get rid of the boundaries first. They have to ask themselves, well, why do I feel like, um, it's stunted right now. And then, you know, sometimes it could just be the environment. They got to just go to a different environment mm -hmm. or create a different environment. And, and then once they get that, it's like, it's like Peter Pan, and, you know, or watching uh, the never ending story, how he just, the little boy went into the book world and just, you know, Valcor, I mean, I'm just naming it, but he kind of, you open up a different world mentally. And then, you know, sometimes the conducive environment helps you to um, create, gr you know, vast stuff like that's That's how I do. Cause I get into those little moments sometimes too. Yeah. Yeah, so. Absolutely, we all do. I would imagine Derek writing over eighty books. You you know what writer's block is, which is basically like a um, an inability to move forward and be creative. You have been so amazing in in producing creativity in your life that you've come up with seven steps to help other people. Oh yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah, I, I kind of blended in a seven some, some seven steps. Um, of create to, to get your creativity flowing and i kind of use a lot of like different i would say ice cream like like sometimes <laughs> i have like the um the butter pecan boundary removal so you know you think a butter pecan is, ooh, is really good and it's like that's just to lure you in but it's basically telling you that you know to 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 start your creativity a lot of times you have to remove those boundaries as i was saying uh, remove the boundaries uh, that could stun even a writer. A writer sometimes they get their growth gets stunned, their writing gets stunted because they start to overthink stuff or they start to feel like, yeah. oh, I got to do this and that. And sometimes it's just going in there and just say, hey, I'm going to write. I'm just going to write what I just feel like writing and I'll make sense of it later. You know, so I'm removing the boundaries and then I get to the writing. And then, you know, sometimes I have another one called peanut butter perception. I look at peanut mm. butter as being protein, you know, sometimes you need a scoop, scoop of peanut butter. Sometimes you need to put some protein into your creativity. You need to, you know, put some substance. And sometimes just even that substance could start start a creative process. You could be like, man, there's a lot going on in the world. I just want to create something that has some type of substance in it. And then you could pull from those different um, areas. And, you know, going like going forward with that. And then I have like a pineapple passion. <laughs> uh, pineapple is sweet, you know. <laughs> Pineapple is sweet and it's good. And sometimes when you sometimes when you think of these names, they kind of like take you somewhere else. Like when yeah. I when sometimes if I'm bored and I think about pineapples, I think about being like in, in like a nice hot tropical area, just you know, eating pineapples and it's just fun. And then my mind goes there. And then I'm not even dwelling in a place where I'm at right now. I'm somewhere totally different. And then my creativity starts to flow in that direction. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know, mm -hmm. so the, these I are feel among, like create the, these are among yeah, seven. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, because no, we're we're running out of time. The, these are among seven different uh, sort of flavors that you want to kind of have people go through to be able to kind of get rid of those boundaries yeah. and unleash their potential and their creativity. How do we learn more about these steps and 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 more about kind of being our most creative selves? Well, you could you could you could always um, link to me or to the website or whatever to Derek Spears dot com, you know, and download or just even get in contact with me. I'm a very personable person. So I love talking to people and I love encouraging and being inspirational um, to to others. You know, even yeah. when people come into my store, we sit there for hours sometimes and literally talk and they leave out. They leave out and say they're very inspired. I feel like that's my job also 
just to inspire others. I've been at every step of, of the process of creativity. I've been, you know, stunted and then I've had a super flow of it. And then, you know, I have to find other ways to just, you know, get it back. So that's absolutely. Awesome. You're a pro. Derek, thank you so much for sharing. Congratulations on authoring over 80 books. Amazing. And for sharing your passion about creativity with everyone. The only thing I regret is that we didn't get to Oreo organization because I do love Oreo ice cream. But maybe Oreos. next time. You just made, yes, you just made me want to go get some Oreos. Too. You know what? So I'll do that. Mm. Definitely. And I, I thank so. y'all for having me. And I really, really appreciate it. Just want to be an inspiration to the world the, around us. No matter what's going on, we can find some type of creativity to um, blend it in and make the world a better place around us. So no thank you all for having me. Great to have you, my friend. I got Oreos downstairs I've got to get to. So oh, <laughs> during the commercial, Jealous. that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, DerekSpears.com. By the way, it's D-A-R-I-C-K Spears.com. You can also follow him on Facebook and on Twitter and on Instagram. We thank Derek so much for coming on the show today. Executive Lifestyle, a proud sponsor of The Morning Blend.